You've clicked this video for some last minute physics tips, so I'm just going to go straight into it and give them to you. Physics has two main distinct question types. You've got your maths and you've got your content. So you really want to focus on them individually and make them as good as possible before moving on to the other one. So if you know that your maths is just not very good and you can't use the equations properly or you struggle with converting between different measurements and knowing which equations to use in which questions, focus on the maths. There's lots of it in the paper. Physics is known for its equation, its maths and everything, right? So you really want to find questions that test you on that and test you on your technique to answer those questions and just practice and practice and practice them if you don't know how to do them it's just a matter of practice first you can watch a video or two on other people explaining to you how to do it and then you just move straight into practice and just attempt it a number of times and then eventually it becomes second nature to you it's really easy once you know what to do but if you don't know what to do you lose all the marks so you really want to focus on the math section make sure it's as good as possible but obviously you don't want to forget about the content side of things as well so for physics paper one you want to make sure that you know all the different content areas and the best way you can do this is to look at each topic individually and by itself and just think about whether or not you could just go straight into doing questions for it. If you couldn't, then find a video or two, watch them, and as you're watching them, just make some quick notes just so it can go into your brain and just so you have a bit of a basic understanding of the topic and then just move on straight to exam questions. This is something I say for all the sciences because all you really want to do is just spam as many exam questions as you can on the topic and then you eventually get better at it the more and more you do it, right? And then you move on to another topic, spam more questions, you get better at it, then move on to another the topic it's just the same process again and again and now because you don't have much time you really just want to focus on the exam questions you don't want to be sitting there watching those two hour long videos of people covering the entire specification because it's going to go into you and go out of you just as fast as you learnt it it's better for you to just sit there and do as many questions as you can and if you can't do the questions watch a video like a short one the ones where they just explain the very basics of it and then come back to the questions and hopefully you should start seeing a bit of success with them and if you don't know where to find questions I'll leave a few links down below don't worry you won't run out of them and trust me that is the best thing you can do for the subject so it's a case of improving your maths and improving your content and you just continuously switch back and forth between them until both of them are just as strong as each other also another thing i want you to just quickly have a look at is the different units of measurement make sure you know how to convert between them really easily there's a lot of times where those really small things are going to trip you up like for example they might use kilowatts instead of watts or megawatts instead of watts i recommend underlining the units and everything underlining those keywords and so then you force yourself to actually read through them rather than just quickly skim by and then do the question really quickly and then not realize that you put the wrong units in so focus on that when you're doing the math questions don't make those silly mistakes the more and more practice you do the better you get at noticing those small things so good luck for your physics exam you'll be fine i wish you the best of luck and i'll see you very soon so bye for now and go revise i don't want you to be on youtube anymore